Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Low Spec Labs. In our last episode, or in one of our last episodes, we left off with installing Trillium Notes locally on your network. In this episode, we're going to walk through getting Trillium Notes hosted on Proxmox on Hetzner. So in our case, if you haven't caught up, you're going to have to watch Proxmox videos one through four, or at least Proxmox video number three and four, so you can get your caddy instance spun up and get the proper networking rules to do this. Once this is fully configured, you can play this video and go from there. Let's go ahead and get started. So we have our Proxmox server pulled up. This is the one that is hosted in Hetzner, and we're gonna spin up a quick Trillium Notes instance. So let's do that. Again, we're gonna create a Linux container, call this Notes. I like to give my containers a different number order than my VMs just to make things a little easier to identify. Let's see, oh, I'm using 300 for this. Welcome. We got a 301. Mm -mm. Of course, we give it a password. Give it a password. Next. Storage. Debian. Next. I'm going to give this 128 gigs of storage. Next. Four CPUs. Two gigs of RAM. We're going to assign this to our guest LAN. DNS name is going to be VayLAN.org. DNS server for right now is going to be Cloudflare until we can get it configured and spun up. So what I'm going to do now is proceed and get the DNS configuration set up on Cloudflare. Then we're going to go ahead and get Caddy configured on the Hetzner host. Then after that, we should have Trillium Notes spun up and ready to go. All right, cool. So in our last video, when we left off, we had the Trillium Notes server spun up and it was running as a root user. This is fine if we're running it locally, but if we want to run it on the internet, we need to take some steps to make the service a little bit more secure. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new user to run the Trillium Notes service. After we create that user, we're going to add it to the Trillium Notes group. Then we're going to give that user permissions to the Trillium Notes binary and the Trillium Notes, you know, database or server folder. After that, we're then going to edit our system CTO config file, and we're going to use that config file and change the service user to Trillium Notes. So first, we've got to test and make sure Trillium Notes can start the service. And then after we ensure that it can, we're going to make sure that's the user that starts it by default after rebooting. And then after that, we're going to have to do some DNS configuration in Cloudflare. And then after that, we're going to have to configure Caddy, and that should make our server or service secure enough to host on the internet. Let's go ahead and get started with that process. It shouldn't take us too long. Let's speed through this. First, we add our Trillium user. Then, we add that user to our Trillium group. Then, we look at the permissions for opt Trillium so Trillium Trillium has access to this. So theoretically, we should now be able to switch into our Trillium user. SU Trillium. And then we should be able to run Trillium just by going to C opt Trillium and then dot slash Trillium dot SH. Hmm. No file, make their home. Ah, okay, I see what's going on. So we have to have a Trillium home directory. That's why we record our mistakes. So here's what we do. We switch back to root. We make their home Trillium. Well, we have copy paste for a reason here. And then we copy paste. Um make their home Trillium shown slash home slash home Trillium. So what we just did was we changed to the Trillium user, tried to run the Trillium service, but it wasn't able to start because it didn't have a home directory and it wasn't able to make the Trillium data directory. So we went back to our root user and we made that directory and we changed the ownership of that directory to Trillium. So now we should be able to go to Trillium and then CD slash opt 
trillium and then from here dot slash trillium dot sh and there we go so trillium is now running right and the cool thing is it's running underneath our trillium user so we know this user is now able to start the service from here we can simply switch back to root user and then we have to manage or edit our oops, trillium node system ctl file so the trillium notes file is somewhere in etsy system d system so let's see if we can find it we do ls let's etsy system d system grab true star um uh let's see trillium dot service okay it's right here so what we can do is do a nano so let's etsy system the system trillium dot service and what we want to do is change the user underneath this service section right here and change the user from root to trillium and change the group from root to trillium and then we want to save and then after that we want to update the system d service okay cool and then after that we just do a system Let's see, system CTO restart Trillium notes. Let's see, change. Ah, uh, we have to run system CTO Damien reload. So, first thing first, we reload. Then we restart Trillium notes. Now, Trillium notes should be running as our Trillium user. So, we can verify this by stopping the container. We might have to install some kind of friendly management software, but we'll see. And the container spun back up. Cool. And what we can do is install a service manager tool. I'm more of a fan of HTOP. So we'll get that installed real quick. And then we'll hop in HTOP. If we look through HTOP, we'll see bin sh op slash trillium dot sh. And it's being run by the trillium user. Right. And you can also see here that trillium's making some modifications to our node and our source slash www file. So now let's check the IP address of this host. Do, 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 do. Let's do summary network 2031. If you were to jump into our Windows jump box, so I believe that's this host right here. And we were to go to 10020, I believe it is 31. So what we can do is go back to the jump box and then when we go to 31, 10, oh, 20, 31, 30, 80. Refuse to connect. Do, 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 do. What's going on here? So I figured out what happened. Helps if you get the port right. So I was putting in 3080 instead of 8080. So since I have 8080 set up, you then go to Let's go ahead and do I'm a new user and I want to create a new Trillium document for my notes. Hit next. You then enter your password that you want to use for your Trillium instance. Hit next. And of course, we go ahead and we go here to enter our password. So as far as we go, that is our Trillium host set up on the server. The next thing we have to do after creating our specific Trillium user to limit access. We now move on to configuring our DNS records to point to our Herzner server. Okay, cool. So we're now logged into Cloudflare. I went ahead and entered my username and password and my 2FA key. Not going to show you that portion, but I am going to show you the portion where we create a new DNS record. So you log into Cloudflare. In my case, I own three domains. We're going to use lowspecslabs.org as our example domain. You click that, click DNS, and then from here, you can add a new DNS record. In my case, it is going to be notes, and then we want to enter our IP address. So go back to your Hertzner console, get your IP, paste it here, save, set notes to... Ah, and then when you're doing the first caddy resolve, you do want to make sure that you do not have Cloudflare proxies enabled. 
once you actually have the record you can go ahead and enable this but at least make sure it's disabled for now cool so after that we hit save and we go back to the hertz no console and we go back to our caddy server cool after we get our caddy server pulled up we'll then go down and we're going to add a new record and i'm going to show you how to enter a new caddy entry we're going to do https forward slash notes dot low spec labs dot org go ahead and do two entries go ahead and go to this reverse proxy https 10 0 20 30 what was that number it was 10 0 20 31 man network yeah 10 0 30 31 80 80 close it out of course we didn't want to define a log file so close it out and then from here we do output file var log caddy and we're going to call this notes.lowspeclabs.org. So we've defined the reverse proxy and we defined a log for it. We hit save. And then we restart the caddy server. We're going to wait a few seconds here. And now, if we were to go to notes.lowspeclabs.org, Let's see what happens. As you can see, it lets us in. And right now it's saying that the site's unsafe. Oh. It says HTTP error 502. Site unable to handle this request. Let's see. And let's go back to that caddy file and see where we messed up. The port right the IP is right. Let's see. Reverse proxy HTTPS. Okay. So that should be HTTP. Save. Restart caddy. And then from there, when we refresh this, let's see what happens. Hey, perfect. And then we enter the password for our Trillium Notes instance. Let's see. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. And we're not logged in. So it's showing that the site's not secure and that our certificate's not valid. Right. Basically, the cert hasn't been validated by Let's Encrypt yet, but we can see that it's a Let's Encrypt cert. So we'll give this a couple hours and this should be secure. But for right now, it's fine. So we now have Caddy hosted on the internet. And when we go to our custom domain, it is spun up. Good job, guys.